Invest 97F has finally been upgraded to Tropical Cyclone status by the Bureau of Meteorology around lunchtime today. Wasn't expecting it, uh, Category 1, however their second advisory now indicates a Category 2 system and is named Tropical Cyclone Seth, that's Sierra Echo Tango Hotel. Here's the uh, latest uh, track on the system, Category 2. And 20 decibel 0 degrees south, 153 decibel 7 degrees east, maximum winds of 45 knots. And central pressure down around 991 millibars. So stayed winds in the centre at 95 kilometres an hour with gusts to 130 kilometres an hour. This is the latest from the uh, BUA. It's located within 55 kilometres at 20 degrees south, 154 decimal 2 degrees east. It's about 540 kilometres east northeast of Mackay, 500 kilometres northeast of Yapoon. It's currently moving east southeast at 22 kilometres an hour. However, the cyclone is expected to move to the east-southeast away from the coast for the remainder of today and into Saturday before taking a southerly change or track by Sunday. On Monday, it may move closer to the coast but should weaken and transition into a subtropical system. Tropical cyclone is not expected to directly affect the coastline in the next 48 hours. However, it will be directing large rains towards the coast over the weekend and early next week. The BI has issued additional warnings and a hazardous surf warning has been issued for the Fraser Island coast, including the Sunshine Coast of Waters. Bureau has also come out with a uh, tropical cyclone technical uh, bulletin and a gale warning remains in place for the rest of today for the Great Barrier Reef offshore. Strong wind warning tells for coast, Mackay Coast, the Capricornia Coast, Harvey Bay, Crows Island Coast, Sunshine Coast waters including the Gold Coast waters. The BIO Meteorology will update probably around 11 p.m. 2300 hours tonight. So we finally got a Category 1, Category 2 system here in the Coral Sea. And it's supposed to be uh, a tropical low at 4 p.m. on January the 3rd and be located at 27 decibel 4 degrees south, 157 decibel 4 degrees east. And as mentioned, the BOA will update 2300 hours. Now, here's a look at some of the Satellite imagery on the cyclone, the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre hasn't updated. The system is currently uh, classified as a subtropical storm. This is under the uh, Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's own criteria, generally characterised as having both tropical and mid latitude cyclone features. Satellite imagery and animated radar imagery from the Cairns radar depict the consolidating system with convective banding wrapping into a broad low-level circulation centre. A 91 gigahertz microwave image indicated the disorganised low-level banding with a weak-defined low-level circulation centre. The system is just located just north of a subtropical jet upper level track winds 
or upper level featured track when syndicated and developing its anti cyclone. Now here's a look at the winds at the 850 minute bars level from 1300 hours through to uh, 2200 hours to my and the information is at the bottom of the screen and the GFS model is actually showing it tracking in towards the Queensland coast This is a uh, webcam view of Angus Water at 1770. Here's a look at precipitation. This is out to uh, about 10 a.m. Sunday. It's also got the pressure. The uh, precipitation is uh, measured in millibars, also at the bottom of the screen. Also, 13's AU channel will continue to bring the latest in addition to the updates. Our live streaming service will continue. And here's the instability. And look at the Western Australia case. We're also keeping an eye on the Vanuatu region as mentioned, Matteo France. New Caledonia, I uh, think they'll most likely update their position around midday New Year's Day and look at the instability again in the uh, Gulf of Carpentaria. Sea service temperatures at 29 30 Celsius. And Joy Typhoon Warnington has 40 to 50 knots vertical wind shear coming up. Storm probabilities. And it looks like uh, January 2022 is going to be another lively one. Uh, read the, uh, the weather scene. And on behalf of Nathan Foy, the owner-operator of Force 13 International, and Jason, our technical uh, guru, and myself and others uh, behind the scenes, we hope you enjoy the uh, New Year Eve celebrations, New Year Day, and I'll be keeping a close and continuous watch on this uh, tropical system. Now here are three tracks and what a variety. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo Acyclo Maurice on Facebook. <laughs>